Alright folks, welcome back to another edition of Let's Play Maniac Mansion. This is the Mysterious JG. Uh, when last you joined us, I was starting to not figure out, or not be able to tell what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, so, um, I've had a couple comments that I suppose I should respond to. Uh, Boba the Vulture had the idea that the small key I got from Nurse Edna's room might be used for opening up those arcade machines. That's worth checking out. Uh, somebody asked, um... I think it was Pancakes guy asked about. Might be wrong about that, but they somebody asked about whether Dave has any special powers. And well, no, not really. As uh, Grimith said in response, basically he knows how to repair, or to say he has a girlfriend, and that's about it. The plot of the game is that we're trying to rescue the girlfriend, and uh, yeah, that's that's what we got really. So um. As far as the special powers that the other kids have, uh, yeah, the game is designed so that you can win with... Considering that Sid and Razor have the same special power, the game is basically designed so that you can win without using all the special powers. So, um... Yeah, you only need to have one special power at the most to win. Matter of fact, you can probably win the game without using any special powers. They just have different things that they're useful at and helpful for. For example, if you want to, you don't have to call Nurse Edna to get past her and get into her room. You can have, I believe you can have somebody get uh, caught by Edna and taken to the dungeon and have somebody else go into her room while she's there. It's just a much bigger pain in the butt. It's easier if you call her. Or at least it's more amusing. Did we look and see if we can even look around in the fireplace? Let's uh, walk to the fireplace and see if there's anything going on in the fireplace. We can't move it. Uh, well, never mind. Now we just saved, but let's uh, let's rummage around at Weird Ed's room, Weird Ed's room a little bit. I think it would be nice to us. Hello. Come see me when you have the plans. Do we need to use something to break the uh, piggy bank, I wonder? I guess we could just open piggy bank. Damn, I broke it. Wow, he doesn't seem to mind that we broke it, although I believe he will come after us if we attempt to steal the stuff. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's only when you mess with the hamster that he has a problem. Strategic Commander chart. Let me read the Strategic Commander chart. Hmm, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> now, bear in mind, folks, he's got a fighter jet model. He also has an X-Wing model. You can do this because it's, um... Well, it's Lucas Games. I can't pick that up. So there's no lawsuits to be had here. LFLU Raw. I. That's probably some kind of insider reference, also. Pick up a dime. Yeah, he doesn't care what we do with this uh, piggy bank as long as we don't mess with the hamster. But, we need the hamster, folks. We don't need the hamster so much as uh, Dr. Fred mentioned the meteor thinks Ed stole the purple card key. Well, yes, Ed did steal the purple card key. And he hid it in the hamster cage. What are you doing? You're not supposed to touch that. Dandy takes you to the dungeon. Too bad you weren't on my side. And he leaves. Let us quickly switch over to Bernard and get the hamster before he gets back in here. Now I can pick up the card key, which was hidden behind him, and we can get out of the room. Excellent. Excellent! We have the purple card key. I don't think the purple card key will be useful until the very end of the game, but still, we got it. Now, I want to show you something very special that we can do with the hamster. 
Very special indeed, folks. This is something, well, I won't build it up too much before it's actually time to show it to you, but, um, it's a little something that I believe was cut from the Nintendo version that you can do with Weird Edit's hamster. Oh man, I wish I had a working mouse or a mouse or something that worked with this game. I had one of those weird, uh, they don't really do them anymore, but, the, oh god, I'm gonna need the damn... Copy protection again, folks. Frustrating, frustrating. That's the wrong window. That's the wrong... Okay. Yeah, back in the day, uh, my computer, or my... Well, it was a family computer. That doesn't seem to work. I had one of those, um... 1D14. This is getting old. Maybe I should be cutting this out or something. 1D14. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to have your feedback about my home improvement comedy show. Well, thank you, YouTube spammer. What they say? One D fourteen. One D fourteen. That is D fourteen. Is just tantalizing outside of your view, gentle viewer. But it's black horizontal, black top cross. Black horizontal, black top. Oh, it's a cross actually in a square. I didn't realize there was a non in a square one. I would come up with a better way to remember that. Okay, folks, let us continue on. What was I saying there before that happened? Yeah, we, my old computer back in the day, we used to have like this weird kind of... It was like a pen that you apply. It was kind of like a mouse pad, but you applied a pen to it. And, um, oh, maybe, yes, here we go. Now we have access to the quarter. I guess the power's out. Tell me you popped in a quarter before you gave up on it. Or did we just, did we have to have the, oh, man, did we need to have the, uh, the power fixed before he played? Did we mess up something here? I would be very upset if I find out that we messed up and that we needed to have that fixed. But now we used to have this controller that was like, um... Should I even be saving my game? No, I gotta save my game, because I want to, um... I want to show you something that will get Bernard killed. But, um... Yeah, that's what I've been trying to say for the past, it seems like, five minutes. Is that, back in the day, we used to have this control thing where you would, like, take, like, an actual pen kind of shaped device, and you would trace it around on this this pad sensor thing, and it was going to be like the, the big thing. It's kind of a precursor to the touch pads you get on laptops. And uh, we used to try to use that to play this game, I, I think. And it was kind of irritating. Use... This is why I just saved the game, folks, and this is something that you can't do in the YesNest version. Hamster in microwave oven. How sick. What do you mean, how sick? I know for a fact you can do it. Bernard won't let me do it. Maybe only certain characters will do it. Maybe you've got to have, like, Jeff or Razor. I feel like Wendy's not going to want to do that either. Does Wendy have the key to get Dave out of there? Use old rusty key in door. Alright, Dave, let's get you back out of there. Come on, dummy. I don't think Dave's gonna, or Wendy's gonna wanna do it. She's a girl. Girls don't usually like putting hamsters in microwaves. I never liked putting hamsters in microwaves either, but the idea of doing it in a video game where you weren't actually killing a hamster, you would just get to play out the idea of being that depraved. Seemed kind of fun to me. 
We don't need to get back in Ed's good graces, but by returning his hamster to him safely, I believe we can. Returning him... No, no, don't walk there. Just, yeah. Switch back to Bernard. Give... Hamster to Dave. Oh, how cute. Dave... I want you to use that cute little hamster. I've got a lot of dimes in the microwave. How sick! Somebody is definitely willing to do that. I don't remember now who it was. I don't think Wendy's going to want to do it. But I'm telling you, you could put the hamster in the microwave, turn on the microwave, and you could kill the hamster. I'm just trying to think which character was it specifically that was sick enough to do that. Maybe it was only Razor was willing to do that. I'm having a lot of fun with the nostalgic playthrough of this game. Maybe uh, I'll off. Maybe like once I've finished, I'll I'll play some other characters and like off-screen 99% of the game and just show you a couple of the things that you can only do um, with characters like Razor or Jeff or Sid or Michael. Give no. Give hamster. To Wendy. Oh, how cute! I think anybody who says, oh, how cute, is not going to microwave it. Use hamster in Dave's head. No, microwave. How sick! Okay. It would appear that none of these guys are willing to do what needs to be done vis a vis killing that hamster. Who do I feel like sending upstairs? Let's send Wendy upstairs. Let's send Wendy into the corner. You have a timeout coming, young lady. You are being punished for refusing to kill that hamster. Does she have the manuscript now? Or did we decide that we were not going to have her fix it until, uh, yeah, until we got the envelope necessary to mail it off to the guys who will publish anything? I so just want to see what the guys who say they will publish anything will do when you send them the Meteor's manuscript without punching it up, when you send them the Meteor's manuscript with Dave punching it up. What? Wait a minute, come on! It was like... Oh, Weird Ed must have closed it. It was like 30 seconds ago. All right. All right, I'm pausing. Hold on. All right, folks, we're back. I think I'm just going to have to do that from now on. No longer subject you to the copyright protection. There's an awful lot of running around back and forth, kind of not knowing what to do and wasting time in this LP, but this is something that we're all going to have to live with for right now, folks. Let's use the... Small key and video fever. Yay, it opened it. Which one was he actually playing? Because I don't think there's anything in Video Fever. He was probably playing Meteor Mess. Use small key in Meteor Mess. What is... Okay, I think we need to cl find a way to fix that power and then hope like hell that a cinema triggers where he comes and tries again after the power's back on. And in the meantime, don't give him any indication that anything is afoot and that anyone's sneaking around in his house unlocking the coin boxes to his uh, arcade machines. Okay? Sounds like a plan. Now, we haven't been to Green Tentacle in a while. Maybe there's something we missed in that room. 
We're running out. There's not a lot of rooms left where we haven't at least been in there once. Because I am kind of getting a bit stuck as to what to do. Now we can go use the telescope. I've got enough dimes that I can kind of play with a little bit. Oh, she has the hamster, doesn't she? Now that we've established that we cannot, uh, now that we've established that we're not going to be able to microwave the hamster, and I wanted to show you that, uh, just for the you know experience of having shown you that once. Now we've established that we can't do that. We might as well get back in Weird Ed's good graces. Give. You have some nerve coming back in here again. Oh, my poor little hamster. Thank you so much. Come on, help me find my plans. Yeah, help me find you. Can you find my bud there, Weird Ed? Start smooching. No, no. Wendy would never say that's Weird Ed. You don't know. You might actually take her up on it. Must be difficult being a uh, female, considering that the entire world of males is perverted in one way or another. Anyway, uh, continuing on along. Climbing up the plant in a very unconvincing sort of way. And we'll have to save our game again. Before we continue along in our adventure. Oh crap, Dave is the one with all the frickin' dimes, isn't he? <sighs> well. Once we get... Once we figure out what's written on that... Th I believe that in the room upstairs of Weird Edna... Uh, Nurse Edna's room. Where there is the... Um... There is the, uh, I can't talk all of a sudden. There's the, s the wall safe, and there is the stuff written in very small letters. Letters, we get letters, we get sex and sex of letters. I believe, uh, between all that junk, uh, if you can read the letters on the wall, next to the wall safe, I believe it actually is the combination of the safe, and I believe that we read those using the telescope, if memory serves, which it might not serve at all. So, what we need to do is get Wendy back upstairs again. I mean, up above Nurse Edna's place. We're going to need to get Dave, because he has the dimes, and I wasn't thinking ahead. We'll have to get Dave up into the room with the telescope. Hopefully that door hasn't shut again. And, um... We need to... Uh, yeah, call Nurse Edna so we can get Wendy upstairs so that she can put the combination in the safe once I've used Dave to figure out what that combination is. I think we'll take one crack at that before I end the video. I don't know what we're going to find in there, folks. Maybe we'll find some freaking batteries. I believe I'd mentioned early, early, early on, it seems like in this LP, that when we first found the old batteries, that they are going to run out, and we need to find other batteries. And it turns out that that was very much correct. I'm almost positive that those batteries are meant to fail. If you haven't already used them for too long in game time for them to fail on their own. I believe they will fail when you try to use them to repair the wires, because you've got to repair those wires to win the game, I think. So, I don't remember where the, where the actual new batteries are. We'll have to figure that out later. Burp.
So we are now getting near to the point where I could save this game. Let's get over here. And save. Yes, once again, Sid calling timeout. You'd better have the freaking dimes. There's no way Bernard has them. That would make sense. We will use a dime in the jukebox, baby. We love rock and roll. No, we're going to use a dime in the coin slot. And then we are going to push the right button. It's rotating. You may not be able to see it, folks, but it is. Now we're going to use the telescope, the really powerful telescope. We press the right button once. I think we are on the right track. So let's use... Now if you had a telescope in your house... Now this the game is meant to be fun and also somewhat silly. But you would not have a coin-operated telescope in your own house, correct? Am I right about this, folks? Tell me I'm right about this. It's rotating. Three, six, two, one. Indeed, that is the number next to the safe. Three, six, two, one. Ten, ten, three, two, one. But now I don't remember what Edna's phone number is. Screw it. Let's just let Dave get caught. But Wendy's the one who has the actual Mac for app. Wendy's the one who actually has the key to get out of that dungeon. Three six two one. Remember that, folks. Three six two one. Now I'm paranoid. I'm going to double check it. This video is going to go very long. Three six two one. That was the combination, I believe. Yes, remember that number, folks. Three six two one. Ten ten three two one is not the number. Three six two one is the number. Do not listen to John Lithgow, or Dennis Miller, or whoever it was who used to, you know, do ads for those numbers. It's three six two one. That's the number we care about. That is the number for great justice. And uh, dead cousin Ted will have moved over again. He will once again be blocking the for good Edna sign. Three six two one. Turn on the window with the strip. Two two seven five three six two one. Two two seven five three six two one. Two two seven five three six two one. Two seven five three six two one two two seven five. Wow, that's loud on my uh, speaker. Three six two one, folks. She just needs to stop answering that phone. Hello, is this you again? Maybe this time I can get the damn perfume. Not the desk, the perfume! Thank goodness. Alright. 3621, folks. Of course, now Dave can just check it again if I need to, so. Just hope that she doesn't turn around while I'm climbing the frickin'. If you're not gonna do it right, then goodbye. Oh, stay on the phone for a minute longer, Edna, damn it. Okay. Three six two one, folks. Three six two one. Yay, we opened it now. What's inside? What is sealed envelope? Hmm. And anything else in there? There's nothing else in there, folks. Now, save the game. We can open it right now. 
If we do that, we will not be able to use the envelope. You can't just rip it open and expect to use it again. I'm going to save the game because I want to I want to just open the damn thing and see what's inside because I know how to I know how to get it open so that it's reusable, but I don't want to do that in this video. I want to move I want to end this video, but I'm really impatient about what's in there. Now we have a ripped envelope. There was a quarter inside of the envelope. <sighs> Good grief, folks. We broke into their safe so that we could get a sealed envelope with a quarter inside. Now the envelope is ripped and useless to us. In fact, the puzzle of this, and one of the many ways in which you can make the game no longer winnable for yourself and not realizing it, is by ripping open that envelope. Although you don't really need the envelope, depending on what method you use to win the game at the end. The very final puzzle can be solved in a couple of ways. One of them will involve Wendy writing up the Meteor's manuscript, mailing it off to the publishing company, using that envelope. And that's probably how we're going to do things, because I don't remember how else to do it. Um, you know, I remember that way. I remember that Michael can also somehow do it with photography power. But, um, yeah, either way, we're going to end this video, and when we load, I will not have ripped the envelope. Hopefully, we will not find out that Dr. Fred will not play the video, because we need Dr. Fred to play that game and set the high score, because the high score is also a four-digit combination that we'll need somewhere else. Hopefully we have not made the game unwinnable without realizing it. It's very easy to do in this game. A lot of the early puzzle games, one of the things that you learned along the way, you can't expect them to know exactly what's going to make a great puzzle game tick, because this, in my opinion, is one, of my, it's one of the best puzzle games of all time. I love this game. But one of the things that they hadn't really worked out yet was that it's exceedingly frustrating when you players can make a mistake that renders the game unwinnable but doesn't end the game because you wander around the same rooms forever looking for some item or object you hadn't interacted with yet because you hadn't noticed it. And uh, with that little rant out of the way, uh, we've gone way over, so it's time to end this video. When we come back, folks, um, we will load state, so we'll have a sealed envelope with the quarter still inside. I will show you a clever trick that you can use in games like this one to open such envelopes. And um, then... Um, once again, I'm calling for you guys to throw out ideas I haven't tried because I'm not exactly sure what to do. Other than that, once we get that envelope open and we get that quarter, um, still not absolutely sure, folks. So tune in next time. Give me your suggestions. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.